here because it's fixing to come down a gully washer we are at fort pike and what you're looking at is lake catherine if you uh, and which is where we're kind of north of new orleans is where we where we are and, and if you look the other way behind where you're looking at that's lake pontchartrain we're gonna try we're gonna try to put in today we'll have to say they say the this is gonna blow over about 1 30 2 o'clock it's around 10 right now 10 or 11 hoping we can uh we'll be able to get in get a couple hours of fishing in we'll see we're fixing to run over to the boat launch landing see what they see what they have uh, available and, and what they say about fishing today but we're going to try to catch some fish i know it's probably crazy but we're going to try to get in one side or the other and try to wet a line Stay with us. Where's the fish tour 2020? Hopefully we'll have some pictures of the boat, the cat, the yacht, and the lake. Hey guys, is their boat ramp. You can see how wide this thing is. And if you look, you can see how high the water is. Apparently there's a tropical depression or a storm or something out here behind us. And it's just pushing the water up. But uh, hopefully we'll still be able to get in right here. I guess we're on um, St. Mary's Lake St. Mary's is that what it's called? So we're um, Gohagen Canals right behind us. Wrigley's Pass connects Lake Pontchartrain to Lake Bourne and then Lake Catherine is directly southeast of us. So you can actually get from this boat ramp you can actually get to all these areas at one time. Right yes we're less than half a mile off the main pass in Wrigley's. We're going to go around the premises here. And Jeremy's going to show us what all they have to offer here. What do you? Okay, it's called the Wrigley's. Is it the Wrigley Marina? Wrigley's Marina is the entire facility. The bait shop itself is Wrigley's Bait and Seafood. Um, we do the launch, the bait shop, fuel, everything for the fishermen. It's kind of our motto. So, let's go outside and see what they have out here on the on the grounds. Okay, we're downstairs now. Upstairs, you can get all your tackle. There's got they got some food in there. They got. Um, all kinds of stuff that you need, if just in case you needed, you didn't have it, they have it here uh, offered to the fishermen. Jeremy, we're down here with the live bait wells. What else do y'all offer besides just live shrimp? As far as live bait goes, we have live shrimp, uh, obviously cockahoes, which are a mainstay down here. And then we, we try and carry croakers. They're just kind of difficult to keep from time to time. Can you keep all that here? We do. We've got all the shrimp in these main tanks here. We see we've got a... Um, an elevated tank over here with the cockos in and a round tank for the croakers because they're kind of specific in what their habitat needs to be to keep them alive. They like that round flowing water in the tanks. Is there, is there more fresh water in these in, in here or is it all salt? This is, um, this is considered low brackish right here. We typically have it about, it's usually about one parts per thousand in our launch. Right now it's up to about seven or eight because we've got a good east wind for a few days. But you'll catch bass here, you'll catch Sackle, perch, all the way to redfish and trout, just right here in the launch. Talking my kind nice. of language now. If you need fuel, and apparently if there's probably nobody here, maybe it's late at night or in the morning, I don't know. Here's some numbers you can call to get your fuel. Also, if you need a guide, if you're looking for a guide service, they can kind of, if you call them, they can actually give you a number of one of the guides around here to take you out fishing. That comes in handy if you want to go, you don't want to bring your boat down here. Okay, we're sitting out here on the uh, field dock. Um, 
Jeremy, what is this? Is this? A, can you rent this? Can you rent this? What is this? The pavilion that we use for um, fishing rodeos, things of that nature. Uh, the old bait shop was here before Katrina. There was a restaurant above it. We just hadn't got back to that part yet. Still kind of rebuilding the other stuff. When are these fishing rodeo jobs? I mean, you probably had to postpone them this year. We didn't have any this year because of the COVID uh, issue, but we usually have four or five a year. It's mostly um, they're mostly private, but we can we do book some that are public. So I see some people over here fishing off the off the. I guess pier here. Do you allow that? Anybody can just come down and they they, they don't. But we're just, since they're bigger than us, we're just gonna let them. Yeah, we, I've just uh, we're gonna let them fish because there's not much going on today. And we'll okay, so t so we're fixing to put in, and you 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 kind of explained to me what are we looking at here? What's going on to the to the? I guess this is to the east, and that would be to the west. Yeah, that would be uh, north, south, right, east, west. Uh, this is Go Hagen's Canal right here that we're on. A lot of good fishing here during the winter back here in uh, Forex Bayou and uh, Lagoon back here. Wrigley's Pass this way. Straight across that is Lake Catherine. Back here you may be able to make it out slightly is the Ellen and Train Bridge, which is right where the Wrigley's Pass meets Lake Bourne. And if you hang a right here, you go to Lake Pontchartrain. Okay, Jeremy, how do people get a hold of you? Where are we at to, to let people know? You said you had a website. How do we get here? Sure. We're uh, Wrigley's Bait and Seafood or Wrigley'sMarina.com. You can see us on our website, uh, Wrigley's Bait and Seafood on Facebook. Our phone number to the store is 985-641-8088. Um, we are located on Highway 90 on the Slidell side, right across from Fort Pike is probably the most, uh, the easiest way to describe it. We, we actually came in off I-10 and, and, and cut through, the, I guess, the uh, Slidell, but we could have actually came up 90 from New Orleans. Either way, you can get here. Jeremy, thank you for allowing us to come look at the premises here. This is a really nice place. This is top-notch, guys. Okay. Hopefully this, this rain will stop and we can get some fishing in. Hey, yes, this is Keith with Kima Coach. Sure, we can do that. Hey, call us today at 713-205-2395. Kima Coach Sportswear and promotional products. Look for us on Facebook. Right, we are in the water in between a couple of swells. We're gonna to try to get in here. Oh, good Lord, see if we can wet a line for 30 minutes, an hour. Before the next this next band of rain hits us, look, we're going out of Regalese Marina, right off Highway 90 to the right, Lake Pontchartrain. We're gonna hit Lake Pontchartrain to the left. Is uh, Lake Catholic? Is that what it is? Lake Mary Catholic? What is it, Alicia? Catholic. So, I mean, we can actually go right or left. We're gonna go to the right because even though I've already been in Lake Pontchartrain a million years ago, I want to check it out on this side. Now here we go guys, wish us luck. <laughs> 